So, just another quick video about an edit feature for MixEffects that you can uh, download and, and use if you want to. So what is MixEffects, if you haven't do, used those before? Well, those are actually always been here and they are available in some of the simpler skins, like the, the starter skin. So you can see in here, we have MixEffects. So the idea is that you can actually put something on the crossfader so that it does something on top uh, of your crossfading if you enable it. So for instance, we have filter, so I'm gonna use that here. So now if I, I play the track, and I play and sing another track, you can maybe hear that it puts filter on top of it when I crossfade. Just to make it more clear, let me stop this track again. And then just do it on the mix out uh, without mixing into anything. So listen for the filter. So it's pretty clear. And of course, if I take it away again, it's not going to be there. And that's just not even, right? So uh, why is this interesting? Well, uh, it's here in the in the starter skin. But if you move to some of the more pro skins, like the actual pro skin, it's not there anymore. And I guess that's because this was seen like a, kind of a, an entry level kind of kind of thing. So if you're at, at, the, at a pro level, you probably wouldn't use stuff like this. But it's, it can actually still be pretty cool. Cool. So uh, so the new thing is that uh, Atomics have have added a path page you can download. So if I go into extensions here and into paths. And search for mix effects. You can see it here. So you simply click here to install it. Of course, I've already done that, so it's already there. But that's how you normally get to it. And once it's installed, you can pick it as a pad page here. And then it's ready. And of course, since it's pads and it's a pad page, you can set it up to do it the exact same thing on your controller, which means you'll be able to switch to this pad page on your controller, and you'll be able to uh, enable and disable these uh, mix effects from your controller, so you don't have to touch uh, anything on the screen or on the keyboard or on the mouse or whatever. So it's just exactly the same thing. You just get it from a pad page. So if I do the same kind of mix here, I'll still just mix into into nothing. You get these five different ones. So of course now that's nothing. Then enable it. That's filter. Same as before. Echo. Like that. Reverb. Faster and faster. And finally, noise. Like a noise sweep. Like that. And these buttons are actually just to actually do the, the cross fitting on your pads if you need that for some reason. Not sure how usable that's going to be. And you can disable it again here. So that's the general idea. You simply get a new pad page that does the stuff on the, the pro skins uh, and the performance skins that you can't do uh, normally unless you program it because it's only meant to be part of the starter skins or whatever. Uh, of course, these kind of effects you can also get from some of the standard effects. Just gonna mention that. So uh, these kind of out effects is already available. So for instance, Tim from the bottom up, uh, it's the loop out, still have that one. So instead of using the crossfader, you just trigger the effect. And of course, it has a lot of settings you can set if you want to. So that's a Luau effect. Uh, so that's instead of using the crossfader, uh, you can do the same with the echo. Again, it has a few settings you can set. And then there's the kind of new one, the docking echo. That's actually just an arm. So it doesn't do anything when you trigger it. It also has effects here, oh, settings here. So if I trigger that one, this one, 
you see, it doesn't do anything uh, until you do something with the crossfader. And you'll get the IA crowd. Or you do something with the regular channel fader. Or maybe do something with the Q button. So that's actually another kind of effect that helps you get out of a track. But that was just to, to show that uh, other options of getting out. It's not just the mix effect. But the new thing in this video was that you can now, now get the mix effect on a pad page so that you can use it uh, with pro setup and with the controller um, without having to do anything else uh, because it's all based on the pad, on the pad page with the pads in it.